it is super dark out because it is 6 20 in the morning uh today is wednesday i don't know i'll put the date somewhere because i don't remember what day it is we have just finished our fourth no third test and second practical so now i have a little bit of time to relax and like get my life together before everything goes crazy again so i'm at the gym we're gonna have a long day today and i was originally gonna film a white coats video like a white coat outfits video but i'm not going home today i'm gonna be on campus literally all day from 8 a.m to 8 p.m so that's not gonna work so i figured i would just vlog and hopefully you guys are enjoying them so my workout is complete. Today was a running day, if you care. It's now light outside, I'm sure you can tell. And we are gonna head to school, so let's go. <laughs> So it is now the next day, it's Thursday, I think January 30th, and I didn't vlog anything else yesterday in classic fashion. I'm just too embarrassed to film things on campus. So I only had one class this morning from nine to 10, and I didn't end up going to the gym this morning because I was out late at the charity basketball game, which I think I showed a little bit of. So I am here now, it's 11 o'clock, it's pretty busy. I'm going to work out, go to the grocery store, and then when I get home, I might show you some of my favorite white coat outfits. So I've changed, I got back from the gym, I went to the grocery store, store, spent way too much money, as I usually do, but it's okay, there were a lot of things on sale, so I just stocked up on some things that I usually need that are non-perishable. And now the challenge is to unload all the dishes, do all the dishes, clean out my fridge, clean out my pantry, and put everything away. So I'll show you what we're working with. So this is a mess but it's not as much of a mess as you might think. Let me show you the pantry section. So this is the true mess. There's a ton of stuff here that I like don't really eat anymore. Like it's Febu almost February. We don't need candy corn anymore. So we're gonna go ahead and go through this, organize a little bit, maybe throw away things like that Captain Crunch is definitely stale. So, all right, let's, let's get our clean on. Wow, oh my gosh, it's clean now. My mom can't yell at me when she comes here anymore. Just kidding, she doesn't yell at me. Oh, we're moving. I don't know how much of that ended up on there before it started sliding. I need a tripod. Um, but mission number two is to make myself lunch and then also cook tofu scramble because I'm getting kind of tired of my egg bites and I wanted to decrease my egg consumption a little bit just to like take it easy on the saturated fat and cholesterol. So we are going to, I still bought eggs, I still eat them, but I wanted to try something different. So we're gonna make lunch, prep, and cook tofu scramble.
so I was pulling my um, procrastinating. I was procrastinating, and so I did my little trick where I like go take a shower and do a little skincare routine. And so now I'm hopefully gonna get back on it. I'm gonna edit for a little bit. There's someone parallel parking right outside my window. I'm gonna edit for a little bit and then study the lecture that we had today. some water now to make some pasta for dinner um, sort of pasta I have this red lentil rotini and then this frozen Italian soup that my parents made and froze for me so I'm gonna put that with the pasta and I also just made myself cold brew so I have I think this is 16 ounces I don't know um, my boyfriend got me this for Christmas this is how you make cold brew you just put your coffee grounds these are the coffee grounds I use they're my favorite they're so good they have a really interesting like almost agave crackery kind of flavor which I think is really cool so I get these whole bean and then I use this little spice grinder that's a little dirty um, to grind up the beans and then you put the beans inside this little sock thing and then wrap it up and drop it in leave it overnight in the fridge for like 24 hours and then you have your cold brew so I wanted to do a quick little update based on what I said in my last vlog about how my test went. Um, so I don't actually know how my written test went because I didn't get my grade back yet, but I did get my practical grade back and I ended up doing way better than I expected to do at the time of that last vlog. And so I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about what I did. So maybe if you find yourself struggling in anatomy lab, particularly for the gross lab portion, maybe some of these tips will help you. Um, and by tips, I mean tip. <laughs> and that was that um, at the time of filming that video, I hadn't really spent that much time in lab, but literally every day after that video until the day of the exam, I went to the lab for probably three hours each day. So I went on the weekend. I spent a ton of time in there on the weekend with friends. I went Literally after my written test, I spent those three hours before they shut down the lab on Monday afternoon to go refresh my mind. Even with all of that time, I didn't get through the entire list that I showed you at the end or the beginning of the vlog, the one that I mentioned with all the terms just in a bulleted list. And so I think that it would be really, really beneficial to spend smaller amounts of time up in lab, but go more frequently and that's kind of annoying it's something that you have to sacrifice it's like a part of your lifestyle that you have to sacrifice for the amount of time that you're in lab for me it's only like four months so it's pretty doable but you kind of have to be flexible with your schedule and I know that for me I like to get it out of the way all at once because I don't have to like wash my hair every day because I smell like formaldehyde and I don't have to bring my scrubs and a change of clothes and snacks and etc etc but it's definitely worth it I think to put in those hours put in the work because you will see the results something that really helped me is one of our TAs came in and tagged some structures that she thought might be on the exam things that are commonly tagged uh, things that don't necessarily follow a normal pattern. For example, your right recurrent laryngeal nerve and your left recurrent laryngeal nerve loop under at different places. So on your right side, it loops under your subclavian artery, but on the left side, it loops all the way down closer to your aorta and your pulmonary trunk. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, don't worry. But basically the point of that is most of our structures in our body, since we are biped organisms, we can be split in half and two perfect halves. Most of the structures in our body have an analogous half on the other side. But when something is different on each side, it's kind of like a, 
uh, something unusual, so it's something that's likely to be tagged because you need to know where both of those things are. So, if you don't have TAs at your school who do this already, I would recommend getting a group of friends together. Usually they have string in the lab and I would just tie strings around structures that you think you're gonna be tested on and kind of create a mock practical for yourself. The way that we study in lab is by testing each other and I think that really helps to set up an environment similar to the practical. And then basically the last thing I have to say is that my previous tip of looking where you are and look where you're going is extremely important because like I said before, things are often named for where they go, what they do, where they came from, and so if you're able to trace yourself back, you are more than likely going to get the right answer, especially if you have an idea of what things the right answers will be ahead of time. So yeah, um, I'm really glad that I was able to put in the work and you know do a little bit better on this one. I'm hoping to do even better on the next one. It's a work in progress, but I am happy to report back that I did well. I'll show you my dinner and then I think honestly I might <laughs> go to bed because I want to get up really early tomorrow morning. I find that I, I don't really, I'm not very good at doing work when I'm at home. It's just not the right study environment for me. There's not a ton of natural light in here. And so I think I'm gonna get up really early, go to the gym, and then go to the library early in the morning to study the topics that I learned today. <laughs> Pick up. This is my pasta and mines. The soup was cold when I put it in, so I'm just getting it to boil before I eat it. My dad would think this was blasphemy because I put pasta in his soup. Whatever, I'm an adult. I can do it if I want to. In all seriousness, that is gonna wrap up today's video. I don't think I have anything else that I need to sh that I want to show tonight. So I'm just gonna have my soup and like watch some YouTube videos and chill out. If you guys like these kinds of videos, please give them a thumbs up. It lets me know what types of videos you guys prefer or what you like don't like as much. Always leave your comments down below. I love when people leave me video suggestions because I get ideas for things that I otherwise would not have known to make. So I hope you guys are enjoying and I hope you're having a great week and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.